The Prudential Halftime Report, brought to you by The Prudential. Peace of mind, it comes with every piece of the rock. From our New York studios, your host, John Saunders. Welcome back once again to New York and the Prudential Halftime Report. I'm John Saunders. Let's quickly now get to the scores and highlights, beginning with Penn State. They know they're headed to the Rose Bowl. Two games left before that. One now after they beat Northwestern today, 45-17. to The Heisman for Kajana Carter, perhaps 23 yards on this carry as Penn State was up 38-3 to at that point. They roll 45-17. to Carter, 12 carries. 107 yards and three touchdowns. Kerry Collins, 9 of 17, 161 yards and a touchdown. Miami still in the hunt, they think, for the national championship. Blows out Temple. Temple's never won in the Big East. Alfred Shipman, 30 yards on this touchdown run. Miami leads it 31 to 7 and goes on to the blowout. Frank Costa, 19 of 36, 249 yards. James Stewart, 18 carries, 85 yards and a couple of touchdowns. Virginia against Virginia Tech. This one was all Virginia because of turnovers. Charles Way, 18 yards here on the touchdown run, 35 to 16. Virginia, 29 points off of eight Virginia Tech turnovers in the game. Maurice DeShazo did have a pretty good day as far as yardage, but five interceptions were picked off by DeShazo. Michigan against Ohio State. Bobby Hoying, four yards on a little bootleg here as the Buckeyes get to scoring early as he dives into the end zone nine to nothing michigan trying to mount the comeback todd collins intercepted by luke finkel collins struggled on the day that one was knocked right back at him eddie george had a good day two yards as the crowd gets into this one trying to knock off michigan for the coach john cooper first time as coach of ohio state and he does get the job done although they dropped him the ride the victory ride and they drop him into the crowd 22 to 6 is the final there. Gary Moeller's first loss in the month of November at Michigan. And for John Cooper's first win over Michigan while at Ohio State. So the Buckeyes now go on to play the SEC championship game loser, either Alabama or Florida, in the Cup USA Florida Citrus Bowl right here on ABC, the 2nd of January at 1 o'clock Eastern Time. Boston College against West Virginia. BC had been on a roll. Mark Hartzell, 19 yards to Pete Mitchell. The big tight end gets the touchdown. 17 to 14, Boston College has the lead. But Chad Johnson would bring him back. 19 yards to Zach Abraham. 21 to 20 is the final in the game. West Virginia's fifth straight win. BC had a seven game unbeaten string come to an end. North Carolina against Duke. This one was the wildest game of the day out of the ACC. Mike Thomas, 71 yards to Octavius Barnes. At this point, North Carolina leads it now 41 to 38. This in a game that is seesawed back and forth. Duke has got a touchdown pass just before this to take the lead. And then Duke quarterback Spence Fisher gets picked off by Fuzzy Lee. He gets hit as well. He's a little bit fuzzy on this one. And Duke cannot pull out the comeback for the second straight week. They lose to another team from the triangle. It was NC State last week. North Carolina this time 41 to 40. Octavius Barnes. Four receptions for 165 yards and a touchdown in the game. Maryland against Syracuse. Syracuse coming off a terrible loss to Boston College. They knock off the Terps 21-16. Kirby Dardar, 22 carries, 159 yards. That's a career high and a touchdown. Tennessee continues the onslaught against Kentucky. 52 to nothing. They blow them out. James Stewart, 26 carries, 143 yards and a touchdown. Houston is shut out by Texas Tech. Tech controls their own destiny in the Southwest Conference, as does TCU. They'll play each other. Byron Hunspard, 24 carries, 109 yards, and two touchdowns. Brown against Columbia, both teams with winning records. This deep in the season, hard to believe, 59-27. to Brown scored 56 unanswered points after they were down 27-3. to Penn over Cornell, 18-14 to the final there. Their second straight undefeated season, breaking Holy Cross's record for 21 consecutive wins in Division I AA. Yale against Harvard, 32-13 the final there. Bob Nelson, 18 carries, 112 yards, and two touchdowns. Back now to the Big Ten where Indiana was up against Purdue. Purdue started out pretty well this season, but they have hit the skids a little bit coming up with a loss here. 33-29, Indiana gets the win. Alex Smith in this game, 31 carries, 245 yards, and two touchdowns, breaking the freshman Big Ten rushing record. South Carolina over Clemson, 33-7 there. Brandon Bennett, 27 carries, 104 yards, 
and a touchdown. Ohio loses to Akron. Somebody had to win this one. At least you would think both teams coming into the game winless. And according to the Cleveland Plain Dealer, Jerry Faust, coached his last game. He will step down at the end of this one. Virginia Slims, want to get you updated on this. Kamiko Date, a winner over Gabriela Sabatini, so she now advances to the final, 1 o'clock Eastern time. You can see that one right here on ABC. And we'll continue with more of the Prudential Halftime Report in just a moment. Dartmouth, a loser to Princeton. Dave Patterson, a 52-yard fumble return. Welcome back once again to New York in the Prudential Halftime Report. Just correcting one thing, Gabriella Sabatini was a winner at the Virginia Slims semifinal. She's in the final against Lindsay Davenport tomorrow at 1 o'clock here on ABC. Let's get to the scores and highlights now. Florida against Vanderbilt, 24-7. First time Florida scored under 30 this year. Danny Werfel, 25-yard touchdown pass to Jack Jackson. 7 nothing at that point. Werfel, 18 of 23, 221 yards and a touchdown. Fred Taylor, 16 carries, 140 yards. And a reminder, the SEC Championship presented by Dr. Pepper. Terry Bowden will join me from the Georgia Dome. Florida against Alabama. Winner goes on to the Sugar Bowl. That's next week, or rather in two weeks. Iowa State against Colorado, 34-13. The Buffs have the lead. No surprise here, Rashawn Salam. 29 carries, 259 yards. He is now over 2,000 yards for the season, joining Barry Sanders, Marcus Allen, and Mike Rozier. TCU against Texas A&M. TCU had a chance to control their own destiny and go to the Southwest Conference Cotton Bowl, but Texas A&M is up 34 to 17 to score there. Leland McElroy, two touchdown runs. Oklahoma State against Kansas State. K-State ranked number 10 quietly and up 23 to 6. Chad May has a touchdown pass and Leon Edwards, two touchdown runs, 12 yards and two yards. Oregon against Oregon State. If the Ducks win this game, they are headed to the Rose Bowl. But the Beavers were looking for the upset. Danny O'Neill, though, goes 18 yards to Dino Filia who just has to run it unmolested to the end zone, seven to nothing at that point, and right now clinging to a 10 to six lead. USC against UCLA. USC has a chance for the Rose Bowl, should Oregon stumble along the way. The Trojan horse was ready and so is Rob Johnson. 12 yards to Keyshawn Johnson for an NCAA record, 23 straight completions. It's hard to believe Johnson got racked up in the game a bit too. 29 yards, he goes to Keyshawn Johnson. Two point conversion was no good after the touchdown. 12-3 at that point. That's where it stands now as they head to the locker room. BYU against Utah in the whack. A close one, 20-17. John Walsh, two touchdown passes. Mike McCoy, two touchdown passes. Back to the Big Ten now. Illinois against Wisconsin. Just a field goal in this one, 3-0. Wisconsin last year was in the Rose Bowl. Air Force had won seven consecutive games, but the Fighting Irish caught them off guard today. 42-30 is the score now in the fourth quarter. Ron Paulus, two touchdown passes and a touchdown run. Now 18 touchdown passes tying Rick Myers' single-season record for the Irish. Jackson State against Alcorn State and Steve McNair. Who else? Is he going to win the Heisman Trophy? He's certainly going to be up there. 43 yards, he hooks up with Donald Ross here as Alcorn takes a 7-0 lead in the game. McNair has two touchdown passes, 40 on the season, 206 passing yards in the first quarter alone of this game. We will keep you updated. We'll continue with more in just a moment. First, to listen to the Auburn Band as we look at some more scores here on the Prudential Halftime Report. We tell you that Nevada is leading UNLV. Right now, the game has just been tied seven apiece. Mike Maxwell, a 24-yard touchdown pass. UAB in Prairie View. Will the seniors ever win a game? Doesn't look like it. They'll close out their careers without a victory. And Boston U over New Hampshire, or rather loses to New Hampshire in double overtime. Sean Concannon blocking the point after to win that one in double OT. The Prudential Halftime Report has been brought to you by the Prudential Peace of Mind. It comes with every piece of the rock.
A three-day Thanksgiving weekend college football feast kicks off Thursday morning on ABC Sports as Texas battles Baylor. Friday morning, except on the West Coast, there's regional action beginning at 11 a.m. Eastern. At a 2.30 Eastern, 11.30 Pacific, number one Nebraska meets Big 8 arch-rival Oklahoma in a national showdown. Then on the West Coast only, Arizona State and Arizona follows. Saturday at noon Eastern, national powers meet as number four Florida Gators take on number eight Florida State. And that night, in a primetime battle, the Fighting Irish of Notre Dame score off with the USC Trojans. All Thanksgiving weekend here on ABC Sports. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the second half. It's coming up right after this.